You are free to make any choice you want, but you are not free from the consequences of your choice. Pantamese landmine for Buhari. I recently read the press statement of the presidency issued by the spokesperson of the Nigerian president, Malagaba Shew, in defense of their battled Minister for Communication and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, and I shook my head, not in disbelief, but because this government will always act true to type. And just like your palm, you can always predict government exact moves on issues like this. No wonder my friend Chinedu Egedo will say, no be Buhari government, not even come out of hand. The statement read in parts, in the 2000s, the minister was a man in his 20s. Next year, he will be 50. Time has passed, and people and their opinion often rightly change. I won't ask at 32 in the poor food for, for those. This government once again missed the golden opportunity to make bold a statement on its intolerance to insecurity and terrorism, which a lot of people believe this administration has elevated to statecraft. The presidency again failed to understand that it is not about pandemic, but about its ideological leaning on terrorism, human rights, vis-a-vis the general insecurity, religious bigotry, fanatism, and tribal intolerance such statements have created and still creating. The attendant damages same have done to our body polity and the opportunity to distance itself from it and chart a new course. After all, a call for resignation of the minister is not a call for the resignation of the government. Abi is the work of the government tied around Pantemi. Same way they once informed us that outside of Magu, no other Nigerian could fight economic crime in the country until they sacked the same Magu for the same crime for which the Senate refused its clearance twice, five years down the line. Well, nourish your rishi person they see with this government, Shah. With such a watery defense from the presidency and government that recently queried the British government rationale for extending asylum to persecuted members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, it becomes obvious that the statement made by the minister as a cleric then were known to those that appointed him, including the Department of State Security, DSS, and the Senate that cleared him even before he was appointed. Or maybe the security agencies felt nothing would come out of such expose as long as those that appointed him wanted him there for reasons best known to them. After all, look at the Magus case, which the Senate and DSSP do, even after them refused to clear him. Some senior lawyers even said Magu could act as chairman for EFCC in perpetuity. Even the citizens all suddenly became lawyers interpreting provisions for and against, rather than stand firmly behind the law of the land. So for Pantami, I'm not any least surprised, and blessed are we, who are not expectant for we shall not be disappointed. Or maybe his preaching then resonate with the current leadership in Nigeria. And as he was quoted to have said, that the government was killing Boko Haram while rehabilitating militants in Niger Delta. Today, are we not rehabilitating members of Boko Haram and even proposing sending them abroad to school while raping their victims in IDP camp? He was also quoted to have supported the killings of fellow humans, provided they are calf rees if it is. Today, are we not witnessing more killings in the country than anything else? What has the government done? Are governors not being threatened for daring to send killer headsmen packing from their state forest? So for those of you that want to know the mind of Mr. President, he has spoken, even though his body language has said the same thing long before now. He has just informed Nigerians in clear terms that there are no consequences for actions or inaction. If you like, you can be as lawless as it comes today, as long as you belong to the sacred club of Nigerian presidential Porter cabin or portmanteau, even portfolio or pantomime. You can initially deny, then renounce thereafter, and boom, you'll be appointed as minister or even become governor or president. State resources will be deployed to even fight your accuser, even if you are Abdul Mutalab, the underwear attempted bomber, Charles Oka, aka Bomo Jomo, the October 1st Abuja bomber and former main spokesperson, or even the late notorious arm robber, Lawrence Anini, it doesn't matter. You can even go to jail in London, America, or South Africa. But in Nigeria, once you say, it wasn't me, or I renounced it, you're on your way to becoming a minister. No wonder Senator Aliu once remarked on the floor of the Senate that he's seated in the hollow chambers with some people he once investigated and indicted for fraud and 419. Even though he was shouted down and asked to recant his statement, 
but Nigerians know better. So if you are still waiting for God to rescue you from bad leadership in Nigeria, you need to elevate your prayers because bad is the new right. My advocacy today would be, unless we the people want real and genuine change, not only mounting it, but matching our words with action by voting the right candidate instead of this rise for vote mentality, or what you call, if you can't beat them, you join them. Nothing, my brother, I tell you, nothing will change. If you thought the 16 years of misrule of PDP was bad, now that you have seen five and a half years of APC as a disaster, the earlier you stop shouting, not too young to rule, or Soros, okay, the better. And start to strategize to change the narrative on the march to 2023 by coming together to form a formidable youth mass movement to be able to determine who gets into government. Other than that, they are still going to have repentant Boko Haram, militant, or even kidnappers as governors and presidents. Why the educated you will be riding Okada or in IDP camps where you won't even have social media. If you like, say, God forbid. God no go forbid them if we no forbid them with our action. As they don't even start to share rice for 2023 already. Otherwise, if you like, just Soros, okay, without action, okay. All soon, all the resources will be jumped, okay, by the politicians without a crumb. It's good to be back.